this uh, video covers the waste management in particularly the electronic waste so here this uh, uh, video this video covers uh, the electronic waste how we uh, what are the sources of electronic waste what is the characteristic of electronic waste and further what is the method adopt to dispose this uh, electronic waste so what is electronic waste the electronic waste is a properly known as e waste it is the term for electronic products that have become unwanted non working and have essentially reached the end of their usefulness in other word in simple is a term for discarded electronic products that is what we call it as e waste it is a discarded that is not electronic product which uh, that is the end of their useful life that is what we called it as a, a electronic waste the major source of electronic waste what we used in the uh, houses that is a tv telecommunication devices like a telephone television laptop we can collect hundreds of this type of mobile like so these are all comes under e waste okay a large and all large and small see here all large and small household appliances it and telecom equipments entertainment and consumer electronics monitoring and control instruments medical device even toy and even the sports equipments electronic and electrical uh, electric or electronic tools all are considered as a uh, electronic devices once they end their lifetime so that is discarded and that is what we called it as a e waste that is tv telecommunication device industrial electronics sites such as a sensor alarm uh, siren infrared thermometers etc there are like plenty of electronic instruments in this industry then circuit boards printed circuit boards that is used even in the computers kitchen equipments like toast uh, top uh, coffee makers oven fridge refrigerator i mean uh, sorry uh, oven etc okay a uh, mixer hand okay. then no uh, lab equipments the lab also will use a plenty of electronic equipment or play monitors like stirrer etc then electronic weighing machine e sign boards these are all once they uh, complete their uh, end of their life useful life they are discarded they become an unwanted material and what we call it as e waste okay. then what is the characteristic of e waste you know e waste is a components in that the sum components are hazardous in nature because while manufacturing these e waste we use a harmful like uh, mercury lead like components are introduced even for a soldering purpose then electronic waste contains various metals like aluminum steel plastic ceramics many plastics used in electronic and elect electric and electronic industry contain flame retardants okay? that means by insulation process also it is difficult to uh, dispose that materials then destruction of circuit breakers leaches out mercury glasses like clone glasses of cathode ray tubes gives out lead ions upon breaking so it is difficult to manage this type of uh, hazardous uh, uh, chemicals then uh, cooling system in that we usually use it, uh, uh, it produces a uh, ozone depleting substances are Uh, then even ODS in form insula insulations, asbestos, re uh, refractory ceramic fibers, etc. Palette plasticizers, electrical wiring system. In that we usually use a palette plasticizers. Even in the circuit board, what we observe is lead, beryllium, antimony like components are present. Lead crystal display we use a mercury. So this is a uh, they uh, difficult to remove these components. 
components. These are the main observation or components observed in the uh, e-waste. Then how we dispose this e-waste? So the e-waste disposal mechanism includes uh, mainly a four method. That is landfilling, incineration, reusing and recycling. The four methods it adopts, can usually adopts four methods. So in that the first I will take what is a landfill. Like in the solid waste management we use a landfilling method. The same way we can use a landfilling method. It's the most common methodology of e-waste disposal. Here, the soil is evacuated and trenches are made for burying the e-waste in it. However, the landfill is not an environmentally sound process for disposing of e-waste as a toxic substance like lead, uh, cadmium, antimony, mercury are released inside the soil and groundwater gets polluted. Here, in the landfilling method, the first soil is evacuated from the trenches and waste material. You can observe here in the landfilling method, the soil uh, components here, the soil uh, is ex excavated from the trenches and the waste materials uh, is buried. It. Waste materials are buried. It. And it is uh, covered by a thick layer of uh, soil, like here one uh, method component uh, already made uh, a landfill method. It is covered uh, with a thick layer of soil. The landfill is provided with the impervious liner made up of plastic or clay. Here it is we normally used a liner, like thick liner, so that the leaking can be prevented. An impervious liner is made of clay or plastic with a leachage basin for collection and transferring the e-waste to the treatment plant. The leachate collection basin that collects and transfer the leachate to wastewater treatment plant that can be observed here, mm, uh, wastewater treatment plant here. So see, here uh, the liner is used, here the liner is used. And after that, we observe here the leachate collection. The leachate collection is sent into this tank, leachate tank condensate and leachate storage tank. Leachate collection basin that collects and transfer the leachate to wastewater treatment plant. The degradation process in landfilling is very complicated because here it is a metal is used and run over a wind transparent spiral. However, the landfilling is not a sound process because it releases toxic substances like uh, in usual leachates uh, contains uh, toxic substances, uh, uh, lead, mercury inside, they may enter into the groundwater. Apart from the landfill, are also uh, used to control uncontrolled fires which can release toxic fumes. Okay, so that's when leachate is used but it is not a, a sound method. Like soil is in the landfilling method, sorry, the landfilling method is used, but it is not a good one. The landfilling in that the soil is excavated from the trenches and waste material is buried in it, which is covered by a thick layer of soil. The landfill is provided with the previous liner made up of plastic or clay, leachate collection basin that collects and transfer the leachate to wastewater treatment plant. The degradation process in landfilling are very complicated and run over a time span. However, landfilling is not sound process since it releases toxic substances like cadmium, lead, mercury inside the soil and groundwater. Okay, then, so the next method, the best method what we think is if possible, these waste can be reused. This is a most desirable process. Instead of this method uh, or uh, land filing, you can reuse the electronic device. Here, the site of modification, the mobile phone, the computer, laptop, printer, etc. can be reused or given as a second end product. Where the slight modification can be done. The old electronic equipments can be donated in various charity programs and thus helping persons in need. 
this method also reduces the volume of e-waste generation. That means by reuse, we can reduce the volume of e-waste generation. To achieve this, buyback old electronic equipment shall be made mandatory. This is the next method of uh, uh, disposal or reusing of method. The other method is uh, uh, what we call it as a recycling. So CRT monitors, keyboards, laptop, modern telephone boards, hard drives, floppy disks, compact disk, mobile fax machines, printers, CPU, like hundreds of components we can uh, list, listed out, can be recycled. It can be used in another form. In another way, like the CD compact disc can be made into a, uh, a component uh, for an interior designing. Like, or uh, the, like, uh, the uh, monitor can be like uh, the old monitor. It's like a, a box. It can be used it as a, 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 a recycle bin. So recycler are a strong asset to remove previous materials such as copper, lead, gold. So there are three major steps for recycling that is dis disassembles, disassemble, upgrading, refining. These are the three major steps. That is first disassemble. Assembly is a joint. Disassemble it includes separation of hazardous and valuable components for special treatment. Like if any component is gets breaked down that time, you just disassemble the product and some of the component may be a, uh, their life cycle, life cycle uh, we can observe they are active, then it can be reached. Okay, so components for special treatment. Then upgrading, the old component can be upgraded using mechanical process or a metallurgical process, desirable material Content is upgraded. Then finally, refining. It includes pyro or hydrometallurgical process. The recovered metals are melted or dissolved by using metallurgical or chemical equipments. So these are uh, the three uh, the major things we've done under recycling. This is only upgrading and refining. It comes under recycling. And the fourth method of uh, uh, disposal is an incineration. This is controlled way of disposing of disposing of e waste, and it involves combustion of uh, electronic waste at very high temperature. In specially designed incinerators. The e waste disposal method is uh, quite advantageous as the waste volume is reduced extremely low, and the energy obtained is also utilized for other purposes. However. It is also not free of disadvantages. It emits a lot of harmful gases like the mercury and cadmium it emits to the atmosphere. Okay, so these are the four methods we adopt in order to manage the disposal of e-waste: landfilling, reuse, recycle, and incineration. Thank you.